All right, so for all the players out there, I'm gonna give you my five tips on how to rack up huge points that'll rack you up big ass kill streaks. So of course I love getting kill streaks. Uh, I'm not really a kill streak whore. You know how there are those guys that come in the game and they camp and they camp and they camp just so they can get whatever kill streak. I'm not like that. Like I enjoy getting them. Mainly for me, when I play the game, I'm trying to make sure that I go positive to do as best as I can. And I'm normally coupled with the worst team that I possibly can. But since I play solo, these are a few of the tips and a few of the things that I've learned to help me get the higher kill streaks. So coming in at number five is use the edges of the map, the outskirts of the map. You want to travel the outside portion of the map. Remember that locomotion on the stage is key. How you get around. That's what it's saying. And the edges are going to be much easier for you to get around than going to the middle of the stage. OK, there's always a choke point in every stage. There's always a middle portion and going across the middle puts you in crossing lines of fire. There are multiple eyes that are going to be looking in the middle of the map. So you want to use the edges, the outside of the map because that puts you in positions to only fight one guy instead of the whole team. All right, so number four, and for you tryhards and super pro guys, you probably don't need it, but for everyone else, use hardline. Hardline reduces the number of points that you need for a kill streak by 10 to 15%, depending on what it is. So by using it, especially later on when your kill streaks require more points, it helps to reduce and helps to get you there a lot faster. And that helps to reduce the amount of time it takes you to get them so you can get on to killing and get into your next kill streak. All right, so number three is going to be use your teammates. Use your teammates to your advantage. I should put it like that. You don't have to play with somebody. What I'm talking about is using the people on your team for your benefit. Okay, and what I'm saying by that is, say you don't want to take the risk of breaching a building, going in first. You can use your teammates. Allow them to go in first. Allow them to take that risk. Also, you can use their position on the map. That tells you a lot of stuff. That tells uh, if someone just died, that gives you a general location of the enemy. Uh, if your teammates are here, then that normally means that the enemy is going to be there. So using and knowing where your teammates are and where they are on the map will help you out greatly. All right. So number two is going to be, and actually this one was discovered by my fiance, Mrs. 5000 Watts. If you have a chance, check her out. Number two is use your kill streaks together. Use kill streaks that you can use in tandem. Okay, and what that means is find kill streaks that are that work together with each other. UAV counter UAV. Okay, by themselves they're 10, maybe 15 points if your team kills somebody, but together, if you throw up a UAV and a counter UAV, that's 30 points. Those points add up really fast. Um, using the orbital VSAT and the EMP system, I think those are 30 points uh, individually, but for if you throw them up together for every one person that's killed you get 60 points and the, again those points add up fast another one the swarm and the canine unit anytime the swarms put up everybody runs inside anytime the canine units put up the dogs will go hunt them out and find them so the swarm and canine unit you want to use kill streaks that you can use together because they will quickly get you to your next kill streak Okay, so the final piece of knowledge that I can drop on thine asset about getting higher kill streaks or getting the high kill streaks is to use a silencer. And this one kind of goes without saying because we all use them anyway. Call of Duty's spawn system is so difficult to predict that when you use, or without using a uh, silencer, people are automatically going to gravitate. They are going to swarm to wherever your position is. Okay, so only in certain lobbies are you able to get away with not using a silencer. Okay, so using a silencer helps you out, you know, especially if you come from behind 
or are in a position where they don't know you are it makes a little bit of noise but if they're not aware you can kill an entire team before anybody actually notices hey thanks for watching guys and that's another top five uh that i put up as always if you like make sure you click the little like button for me i can always use the support if you have any questions comments or anything that you like to see leave down in the comment section i have other videos coming out so make sure you click the subscribe button and as always i appreciate your time and thanks a lot guys